If you want something new, you gotta become something new. You have to evolve. You have to get sick and tired of being sick and tired of what you've always been. You have to become accountable to someone. You have to allow the right coach in your life that will hold you accountable. You have to be willing to look in the mirror and talk to yourself with honesty and integrity. Be honest. Do you get up in the morning? Do you eat right? Are you working out? Are you planning your future? Are you just doing enough to get by? You see, for those that will want to be more, you have to give them more discipline, more structure in your life, more accountability to someone. When you invest in something and you hustle and you work for something, you got a different type of attachment to it. You're gonna have a cold day in hell for somebody to try to take this from you. We live by this, we die by this. We don't surrender, we don't retreat. Why are you basing your greatness upon their word? Why do you want to prove them wrong? Or their expectation with what they're saying to you, right? Why are you trying to prove them wrong? Prove yourself right. How about stepping back and saying, nah, man, I know I'm built for shit, let's go. Remember that. We won't execute and be great because you talk it. We show up, we trust in our process, we believe in it. Here's the difference between a professional and an amateur. An amateur will practice until he gets it right. A professional will practice until he's done it so that it is second nature. It is exactly the way I thought it would be. If there will be no surprises because I kept going until this was just rote memory, it just happens. The only way you get to that level is to commit yourself to be absolutely more than you were before. What would your life be like as you look toward the future if you decided I'm not going to allow my fears to stop me? What would your life be like? What would your future be like if you decided to, to want that which you desire so strongly that it prepares you past your fears? Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. Get good at failing. Em embrace failure and rejection. I know that sounds really simple, but just understand that the more you fail, the more you're growing. Understand that failure, the most successful people, no matter how you define failure, they are failing far more than most people. They're rejected far more than most people. They're laughed at far more than most people. They're confused and they suffer far more than most people. Why are we labeling or judging failure as bad? Failure is great. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. People are not who you want them to be. Kill your idols. Sure, there are things we can learn from people, but people aren't going to be what you think they are, what they should be. Because you can't control other people. You can't make them what you want them to be. You can't make them who you want them to be. The only person you can control is you. So focus on making yourself who you want to be. Faster, stronger, smarter, more humble, less ego. 
If you decide to experience all of your true potential, as you decide to manifest all of your greatness, as you decide, wait a minute, what, what else is available to me out here? If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of, of standing by myself, what else is available? Of taking a chance, the fear of losing it all, what else is available to me? that will bring some extra meaning and value. The fear of people not liking me. You know how many people do things they don't want to do because they want everybody to like them? When you fix the things that are broken in you, the things that have held you back, when you are accountable for that stuff, that's when we evolve to be more. That's when you become a champion. It is not simply when you are crowned. The crown is the coronation of it all, but in the process, the journey is the reward. You have to do the work to get there. No one is coming to make you a champion. You take that championship. I know that you've got greatness within you. I know that you have unlimited potential in you. I know that you have something to give to the universe that was not here before you showed up. Somebody said that life is God's gift to us and how we live our lives is our gift to God. What kind of gift are you giving? And what kind of gift could you give if fear wasn't an issue? You can have fears, but don't surrender. You're more than capable of making this your decade.